イエス Hey guys, so this is Alex and today I want to show you how to make a luxurious ice cream without an ice cream machine. Instead of making one big batch of unique flavor, I like to make tons of little ones. So the reason why I'm not using an ice cream machine is because I want that recipe to be as accessible as possible. I don't know, you can call it unselfishness. Mm? 10 bucks he doesn't have an ice cream machine. Well, that, that's not true. I do have plenty yeah. loads of them. It's just that they are not so convenient. Mm -hmm. In a big bowl, add six egg yolks and under a cup of sugar. Full cup of sugar will give you a really sweet and decadent ice cream, where half a cup of sugar would give you a leaner and sharper ice cream. Mix the yolks and the sugar till it gets smooth and pale yellow. For the record, it takes a bit of effort, but you know me, when there's a call for strong muscles, I'm always ready. Well, in my defense, brain might be considered as a muscle by some scientists. Some of them. Add a cup of whole milk, two cups of double cream, and combine nicely. Then, gently heat that liquid over medium heat and stir it from time to time. Warning, do not make it boil, otherwise instead of custard, you'll just get some sweet scramble egg. Which could be nice, but a bit watery with this technique. I guess you can always drain them on kitchen paper, but again, they will be a bit too sweet. You can always counter that with lemon juice, but in that case, it would curdle the milk, which isn't so bad, because if you're a fan of sweet cheese, which I am not, then you could spread it on rye bread. But you know what, the bakery is closed because we are Sunday, so... Do not boil the liquid. Right, now is the fun part, flavoring the custard. I made a few examples just to get you going. Regular flavors and also creative flavors. Vanilla extract. Instant coffee. Cocoa powder. Mint leaves. Spices like cinnamon or ginger, peanut butter, in that case just loosen the paste first in the microwave, lemon, mostly use the zest but add a few drops of the juices as well, lime, the same technique, or even that special flavor sriracha and lime juice. It's not weird, it's not, it's um, quirky. So how do you know how much flavoring you need to add in the custard? Well, it's really simple. First off, it's like the sugar and the custard in the beginning. Uh, you need to taste that and you need to like that. Also, and that's the second point, you need to go a bit too far. Because when the ice cream cools down, the flavor will be less intense. Pop those boxes in the freezer for two hours. Get them out and mix them thoroughly with the fork. Then, back in the freezer for another two hours. Again, get them out, mix and back in the freezer overnight this time or until you need them. At the end, you'll just get unbelievable ice creams. That texture really is something to try. It's silky, it's dense and even a bit chewy. I am very, very curious about what you can come up with. So please comment this video and tell me which flavor or flavor combination I should make. If your idea looks delish or funny or quirky enough, then I will include it in another ice cream video with the proper credits of course. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up, like it, and share that over on your social media. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more delicious, weird, quirky, and messy recipes. Bye-bye, salut. Thank <laughs> you.